Okay, anyway, to this is a part two of what I was talking about. And I want to talk to women out there, especially women who are busy moms and have other tasks to do. Whether you're a mom and you're, you know, you have all the rest of the, you know, responsibilities that you got to take care of. I mean, being a mom on its own, and I come from a family, from a big family, and I'm the oldest. And, um, you know, being a mom or a dad is a big thing. Your child needs you 24-7. So, for example, like some people out there, um, yeah, just say I was more worried about how my damn hair looked. And if I had on makeup or if my outfit was great or whatever and not thinking about my homework that I need to get done um, or the bills that needs to be paid or the clean, what needs to be cleaned at the house. I mean, with a child, you have lots of laundry all the time. Um, and I'm a very clean person. I like to disinfect things a lot, to, especially um, when other people come over. I like to clean afterward just because you know I just it, I think it's best that way um, to eliminate as many outside germs as possible but anyway just think you know now there are some wives out there and mothers who don't do anything they literally are pretty and that's it now you can be pretty though there's p plenty of beautiful women especially on YouTube that are beautiful and they take care of their child and they handle their business my I my husband's on deployment so my um, normal load is triple because I have to be here and I have to be me then I have to be here and I have to be him and then I have to take care of all the responsibilities like our cars and things like that and the apartment and whatever breaks and all of these things why in the hell would I be worried about if my hair looks glamorous to go talk with a dean at at my college about dropping a course I mean it's not gonna help me at all how's that gonna help me um, I'm not trying to get a husband I already have one who do I need to impress besides my daughter she is who is important, not my hair. Like, I don't understand. I mean, anytime we go anywhere, Leilani looks, you know, um, decent. She's not, you know, filthy or anything like that. Um, but it's ridiculous for someone to assume because I have a satin wrap. First of all, it's a satin wrap that I paid $10 for. It's not that thing on my head. It's a satin wrap to protect my hair. So, I mean, did she ever think about maybe I didn't want the wind to, to I mean, because wind can break your hair too. But no, she didn't think about that. But it's fine. But it's just, I don't know, sometimes just when I'm, not, when I'm having a hard time, like I've been having a hard time this week, but I've been dealing with it. But you're having a hard time and then there's a person who just says some, something so damn stupid that it's just like, why the hell did you just say that? Really? You just said that? Like, how is that relevant to the situation? I'm here talking to you about withdrawing for a class and you're going to tell me that my hair or why do I have that thing on my head? But she did say after the negative thing that I was beautiful. And I was like, yeah, I know that. I don't have time. If you have, if you were listening to anything that I was saying about my situation, the reason why I need to drop this class is because it is more demanding than I can handle. And, you know, I was just like, so you're worried about my hair, really? And she was like, well, I always told my girls that when they went out anywhere, they look, they're supposed to look good. Okay. I, I grew up like that too, but I chose not to, it's not a big deal. Like, I'm a hard worker. Um, and I don't think that, 
I mean, if I'm working at, at a job setting and and if I'm going to work, I always make sure I look decent. I also always make sure I look, um, you know, polished. If I'm running errands and I didn't suspect that I was going to be somewhere as long or having to go back and forth, um, I think I can give some credit for um, being in my relaxed um, wear because I know that I was gonna, I, you know, I knew I was gonna be doing multiple things. But don't insult me when I'm telling you that I'm having problems right now with something, and I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do what's best for me and my family. But you, instead, you're thinking about how I'm looking. Obviously, you're immature. That's that's just what I think. People who worry about material things more than the things that are going to help you further your life instead of sitting in one place, that is more important. All of that pretty shit comes after, in my opinion. When I'm not going to school this summer, yeah, I may be pretty most of the week. If I don't want to, I don't have to. You know, it's not, you know, it's... But I'm not going to be looking like a hobo or nothing like that. I mean, anytime I go anywhere, I always make sure that, you know, I look suitable. To me, this doesn't look that bad, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's a different color, so it just it's maybe, you know, just a little flashy. Um, but do, do, do those people pay my bills or... Do they take care of my child? No, I do. So I am in charge of my hair and what clothes I wear. She didn't say anything about my clothes. She better not had. I had on workout clothes because I was going to be walking a lot. I had on tennis shoes and some workout sweats that are really nice. I got them from Walmart. And uh, I, oh, uh, um, a, a hoodie. And I had this on my head, and I mean, she was like, why do you have that thing? Before she even answered my question about what I was talking why do you have that thing in your head? You're so beautiful. Well, thank you, but I don't have time to be cute right now. I'm trying to make sure that my business gets taken care of. That's like if the house is flooding, and you think you got to look cute for that situation, or so, that's just stupid, I just really think it's stupid, and she was an older person, and that kind of upsets me when older people who've been here longer than me, I've only been here almost 21 years, and she seemed like she really didn't, you know, just, just not, I don't know, it's just retarded, but anyway, I wanted to, you know, tell you guys out there. First, another thing. I'm trying to lose weight. That's a whole nother situation. Deployment is a situation. Taking care of a child is a situation. Trying to lose weight. Trying to be social when you don't have time to do that. Another thing. It costs to be social for those people who, you know, there's military meetings out there, but yeah, at a restaurant or somewhere where you gotta pay something every damn time you go before you know it you're not gonna have any extra money so I choose to do what's important go to school and get as many classes done as I can right now with the situation that's going on and then during the summer then I will you know conjoin and have fun not a whole bunch, but enough to satisfy my need for fun and to make sure that Leilani gets her vitamin C. That's basically all that needs to happen. Right now, when I know that I have a strenuous workload, why would I add hair and makeup to that? I just don't think that's logical at all. No, mm-mm. But there's some people who can do that. I know I can. I know I can do that. I'd rather 
sleep a few more minutes. Like, I just don't think that waking up early enough to, I mean, makeup takes me maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Hair takes me 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes, depending on what's going on. The longest thing is drying my hair. Yeah. And, it's, and, it's, and it has grown and it's thicker, so it's worse. And I just leave it in my two little buns or my two pigtails because it's easy because it's divided and I can control it. I can't put it in one ponytail. It just, it's just It never stays. Anyway, I just wanted to rant, you know, but goodness, people, don't do that. Don't shoot someone down that is trying their best because you think that they should be looking hot while they're trying their best. I mean, it just, she didn't know me. She shouldn't have said that. But anyway, it's okay. She's a, she's a really nice lady. It's just that at that moment, she pissed me off. Yeah. It takes a lot to piss me off, by the way. You have to really do a lot. And then when you do piss me off, there's no turning back. So, don't do that. Anyway, so that's another side of me, YouTube, friends. So I'm going to go because this is supposed to be a quick one, but here you guys go asking me questions. It's you guys' fault. You're asking me questions and I got to answer them. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I have to go because it's almost 8.30 and my baby is asleep and I'm contemplating whether I'm going to take the HCG, and I also still have a little bit of cleaning, organizing my um, papers and things like that. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!